judgment day for Felicity Huffman. The Desperate Housewives star is due in court this afternoon to become the first parent sentenced for a role in a college admission cheating scandal. Eva Pilgrim is outside the courtroom in Boston with the latest. Good morning to you, Eva. Good morning, Michael. It's been almost six months to the day since federal agents stormed into Felicity Huffman's home, arresting the actress. In just a matter of hours, she will walk into this courthouse and learn her fate. It's decision day in the federal case against actress Felicity Huffman, the 56 year old set to be sentenced this afternoon after pleading guilty in the country's largest college admission scandal, admitting to paying $15,000 to have an SAT proctor alter her daughter's scores. Prosecutors pushing for a month behind bars, telling the judge Huffman's conduct was deliberate and manifestly criminal. Neither probation nor confinement in a large home in the Hollywood Hills with an infinity pool would constitute meaningful punishment or deter others from committing similar crimes. But Huffman asking the judge instead for probation and community service, along with a $20,000 fine. Earlier this week, Huffman penning a passionate letter to the judge claiming her decision was out of desperation to be a good mother, believing that all I was doing was giving my daughter a fair shot. Based on her own upbringing, where she felt like she didn't necessarily have a lot of support and she was kind of on her own, she wanted to go the extra mile to make sure that they had every advantage. Huffman receiving support from many of her friends and family who wrote letters to the judge on her behalf. Her husband, actor William H. Macy, writing to be sure Felicity's relationship with her daughters exploded on March 12th and rebuilding that relationship will be a long process. But I also want you to know Felicity has raised two amazing young women adding it's not clear when or how Felicity will resume her acting career, he said. Since her arrest, she's received no job offers or auditions. An unknown factor in the judge's decision, who is the victim? Probation officials filed a court document saying no university suffered any financial loss, saying there is no victim of this offense, adding that they question what degree of responsibility lies with the schools and testing agencies for failing to properly oversee the admissions and testing processes to ensure that they were fair for all students. And a lot of eyes will be watching as she is the first of the parents to be sentenced, potentially setting the tone for what's to come, Amy. All right, Eva Pilgrim, thank you. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, and media expert and managing partner at 1010 Media, Larry Hackett. Gentlemen, Dan, uh, prosecutors asking for one month in jail. Of course, Felicity doesn't want that. She wants community service. What do you think is going to happen? Well, you heard there the critical question, which is, what was the victim here? Who was the victim? When you're looking at a financial crime, and that's what this is, I know people want to make this a sort of crime of outrage. And it is morally outrageous. But when we're looking at the possible sentence, you look at who was the victim and how much did that person or entity lose. And the problem here is that the universities didn't lose any money. In fact, you can make an argument that they actually made a little money here and there. So I think in the end, she'll get no jail time. Um, I don't think anyone should be surprised when that happens because I think anyone else in her position likely would not get time. Hmm. All right. And Larry, I want to ask you because Huffman was the first group of many parents to plead guilty mm -hmm. in this whole scandal. What do you make of the way she has handled this compared to others? As best as possible. I think the idea of you know pleading and saying, I'm sorry, I did a terrible thing early on, right out of the gate, uh, was really her only defense. Um, as Dan is right. I mean, the moral outrage here is enormous, right? It's, it's kind of like moral batting practice that's going on here. Everybody has an opinion about it. The document that the prosecutor filed has nothing to do with the law. It's all about kind of taking advantage of the public outrage. So that's what she did, and she did it right. I think, paradoxically, that if she were to get jail time, her rehabilitation would occur faster. Oh, that makes sense because people think that she Absolutely. owes that. They will get their least. pound of flesh. In yes. terms of precedence, Dan, what does this decision today set for the rest of the Well, so if the court determines that there was no financial victim, that's dangerous for prosecutors moving forward. Yeah. That could lead to a lot better plea offers going out across the board. We've already seen this happen once in this case in connection with the sailing coach at Stanford University. Um, a different set of facts, et cetera, but prosecutors there wanted something like 13 months. He got a day. Because, and again, the question was, this is a financial crime. And when you're talking about the sentence, the question of how much did the person or entity lose becomes critical, and prosecutors have a really hard time legally. Again, 
That's not a moral defense. That is a legal analysis of what the sentence may be. Yeah, and I know we're out of time, Larry, but does she have an acting career going Absolutely. forward? Absolutely, yes. Okay. No question about it. Oh, I think so, yes. I think what she's Dan doing surprised. Well, I don't, <laughs> I mean, and I don't think she's going to serve any time. Two, yeah, word, yeah. two words for you, Martha Stewart. All right, yeah. very good. Larry, Dan, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.